Hello, this is a video about how you might use dependency injection with MVVM. Now this video is going to rely on you being able to use Swift Project Manager, but I can show you how to do that and make a network call. But I'm going to use my own network manager, so you could swap it out for Elmofire or whatever you wanted to be able to do the same. So I'm going to create a new iOS app, um, MVVM dependency injection. project and I've got a little bit of code in Cot Editor to use. So the idea of doing this is so I'm going to be able to do some tests. So I'm going to need a mock for my view model. So I'm going to create a file and this is going to be a plain file and the tests. <laughs> Called it file. So this is going to be called mock view model. I'm just going to copy and paste the code that I've already prepared for that. So the mock view model, all it's going to do is when you try and get the data, it's going to hit off this closure. So then we can test that. So I can put my simple tests in here. So I'm not going to use performance example or test example. I'm just going to copy this out bit by bit. So I'm going to use my own network library here, which will help me to make the network calls. It does use type Eurasia. You can look at some of the other articles I've made to look that up. And within that package, there's a mock network manager. And it's going to be able to use the view model and view controller. And of course, we're not going to use our actual view model. We're going to use our mock and then we're going to test getting our data, which is this test here. So here I'm going to treat my view model as the mock view model and see when that closure was called and fulfill my expectation after. So then when I get the data, it will call here, fulfill the expectation, and the tests will hopefully work. Um, of course, it can't see the network library because I haven't added in the network library. So I should get to that. So in our project, we have a Swift package. I'm going to add in my own Swift package. And it's available for everyone to use. Network Manager. Didn't make any typos. That's good. Up to next major. So I won't put any breaking changes in. That's all fine. Okay, good. So now we've got a network library. And we're going to be able to call that from, hopefully, our view controller. Call, actually use it. So import, and I've called it network library. And Xcode seems reasonably happy with that. Is it going to build? I think so. Wonderful. So at some point, we're going to have a function called getData. And it's that function which we're going to test. So we better make sure it works. And actually, when view did appear, that's the function that I'm going to call. So as soon as the view appears, I'm going to get the data. Now this particular demo is not going to do very much. It's not going to display anything on the screen. It's just going to get some data and we'll run the test. So it's nothing particularly exciting. Oh, I haven't called super there. Okay, so the problem is I need to run this with dependency injection. So the network library is going to be opened in a view model. And we need to make sure that we're injecting the network library properly. So I'm just going to call it view model. And we'll get import that network library. Okay, so 
I'm going to store the network pair, and that's where the tricky type Eurasia stuff comes in. I've got any network manager, which is constrained by URL session. Okay, and we're going to have the required initializer, which is going to use generics. All of these network manager protocols and stuff, they're all contained within my Swift package manager um, framework. So type T. So then I can make my network. The wrapped type of my network manager. So within this view model, I'm going to have a function which actually gets a data. And it's going to get the data from a URL, which is just a string. Now, I'm going to force unwrap that just for ease. Wouldn't usually do that in production code. So I might do an if lap. Uh, URL string. This is going to be a get, and this is another function that I've created myself in my network manager. It returns a result type, which then we can switch on. Error handling is just going to exist, consist of printing the error. But under the success, I want to display that data. So what I'm going to do is decode the data. data and since I'm not guaranteeing what this data is if it's a dictionary I'm just going to print that out If it happens to be array, I'm just going to print out that array. If there's an error, well, we'll do something with that. So this is very much a bare bones idea. So that would just initialize the network manager, which is then called in get data. It then goes away to this URL and does some work. Nothing too exciting, hopefully, there. So we're using the storyboard, which means we have to have a required initializer. So if we're using the storyboard, we have to call super. And we can set up our view model. The reason we need to have the view model is here is so we can call the get data from the view model. So view model is of the type view model. Make it optional because at first it won't be set. So if we're using the storyboard, then 
then we're going to use the actual network manager and we can go away to the internet and we can get our data. If we're not, we'd use this initializer, which means we can inject a view model. We still have to call super. But if you're using this initializer, you're not using the storyboard, you're coming from a testing perspective. And we make our view model be the view model that you've given it. So get data at the moment is not doing anything. Okay, barring any slips, this may work and this may print out the result from the URL. Okay, so we've got an error because we're not using HTTPS. Of course, it's the app transport layer, you can do all the stuff on the key list. But for this demo, okay, most of that error message is simply because I'm using the simulator. So I'm not quite certain why it's come back with nothing. I think I've chosen the wrong option there. Okay, so it's neither a dictionary, neither a string. Let me try and work out. What I should have put as my option. Get rid of these breakpoints. See how we do it. So what I'm hoping is the console will print out the data that it's received from the URL endpoint. Which of course it hasn't. Interesting. So question one is do we have any data? data, we do, which is reassuring, we have 200 objects. None of them none of them are an array and none of them are a dictionary. Right, let's just try copying and pasting my code that I know works. Failed one. Okay, so for whatever reason, that's the code which works, which prints out our data. If I look at my tests, maybe I'll have the same amount of luck here. We'll see if we can access the network library. Managed to do it and we get test succeeded. So what we're doing here is we're loading up our view controller but we're injecting our mock view model which itself doesn't actually use the network manager and 
even if it did, it's using the mock network manager. So I can also set up a similar test with the view model and inject um, <coughs> the network manager as the mock network manager to then test that. So this is starting to build up some testability within the code and it's using dependency injection because we're using those lovely mocks.